done packing. Manfred and I are going on a road trip to Spain. We just got back from the Caribbean and we're actually going with my mom. Yes, you heard that right, my mom. Because she's getting older, she just turned 70 this year. And you know, I just wanna enjoy her as much as I can while I still can. So she's coming with us. So this is the situation in my living room right now. I don't think it looks that bad. I'm packing a lot of t-shirts, super cute t-shirts and shorts because it's going to be hot in Spain and this is pretty much gonna be my uniform. And then I'm gonna leave the more glamorous stuff like the slip dresses for cocktails and dinners i cannot wait to wear this crochet dress at the beach so i know what you're thinking and i know what this looks like who needs 20 handbags to go on a two-week vacation trip no one i agree and i fully acknowledge how ridiculous this is except when you're a professional um fashion content creator and you're churning out content every single day for packing comes with the territory you need options just like a stylist i'm actually taking two outfits a day so one for daytime activities and then one for nighttime by the way you see all these clothes they're not all mine i did purchase some with my own money and then some is also gifted by brands i actually went to the um h&m showroom yesterday to pick out some looks and then the most expensive um, pieces are actually loans so brands generally loan in exchange for content and then you return the items once you're done shooting them and you know i think it's quite realistic because very few content creators can afford to buy their own stuff tens of thousands of dollars or euros worth of clothes every single week just to create content it's just not realistic so i think loaning is a good compromise and also when you're like me and you live in a tiny tiny place like you simply do not have enough room to store all this stuff job well done i hope you guys didn't think i only had one suitcase I still have my steamer to pack travel essential and my hair product black girl problems we are finally here in the south of france after a nine hour car drive from paris my man friends family welcomed us last night with some really nice rosé and snacks for l'apéro and today we're not going to be doing much because we're still recuperating from our journey so we're gonna probably take my mom shopping and just chill for the rest of the day we made it to the little town of Collioure. It's a typical little French town of the south and it's so pretty. I'm gonna show you around. So I came too close to a cactus and then I got pricked. So Manfred is removing all the tiny little pins for me. You can see the cast in plus. Mm. Look at how stylish Manfred looks with his Prada bag. Unpopular opinion, I don't like European beaches. The pebbles, they're super icy cold water. Let me tell you something, there's nothing like a Caribbean beach. Like, Caribbean beaches are superior. <laughs> Good morning! It's a beautiful day today to be starting our Spanish road trip. We're gonna be cruising along La Costa Brava. La Costa Brava is the northeast uh, region of Catalonia in Spain. We've been going there for the past four years, I think, at least twice a year. So we kind of know the area, like the back of our hands, and we're gonna be showing my mom now and 
taking her to her favorite spots, our favorite beaches, our favorite hangouts, and I'm gonna be taking you along with me. Let me show you my outfit of the day real quick. Everything is from Lioness. I really love the crochet dress. It's perfect for summer. It's giving me boho Ibiza vibes. I love it. And look at that cute little Louis Vuitton bag I found on Vestiaire. It's vintage and it's the cutest. Let's roll. We arrived in Poyiga and headed straight to Casa Dali, which is where Dali used to work and live. It's such an unusual, eccentric, and eclectic place. It's definitely a must-see. Fun fact, did you know that Dali designed costumes for the Carnival of Venice in collaboration with Dior? How fabulous. Then we walked down to the fishing village of Caracas to grab some lunch. We had some delicious, super well seasoned and reasonably priced tapas. I know tapas are more touristy than traditional, but I love them. of our Spanish road trip and today we are going to Girona. We are going up the stairs to the cathedral. We are going to get lunch at a traditional Catalan restaurant now and I can't wait. Barcelona. We are late to our first tour. I'm kind of running out of breath. Ooh. Casa Baccio is a beautiful house and a must-see if you're a Gaudi fan. However, the place was jam-packed with people I do not recommend visiting in the summer. This is my outfit of the day. It's all French shop. I've got a bag and my rose petals. And here's my favorite glass of Ajillo. We're going to try the Chorcitos. We are now in the metro on our way to La Sagrada Familia. Girl, I am sweating. Look at this mess. Whew. The sheer beauty and gigantism of La Sagrada Familia always leaves me speechless. I find the combining of different architectural styles in this church, such as Art Nouveau and Gothic, fascinating. It's supposed to be completed in 2026. I will have to go back to see the finished product. This is a room. It looks pretty cozy. This is gonna be our room for the night. And we even have a little living room situation here. Super cute. We are going out to dinner now. This is my outfit of the night. Really cute. I'm gonna link everything down below.
yesterday we had a really fun day in Barcelona. We saw some historic sites and it was really interesting. But at some point my mom was like, when exactly do we go shopping? And I was like, what are you talking about? We didn't come all the way here to go shopping. It made me think of how lucky I am that man friend and I are compatible when we travel. We actually share the same interests. We like outdoorsy stuff and we like sightseeing and we like to eat our way through a new city and explore the culture. But sometimes I suppose partners are not always on the same wavelength. Like imagine you're going on a road trip with your partner and you don't like the same music. Like what do you do? Tell me guys if you've had some um, similar stories, would love to hear them. <laughs> I need to show you the handbag I took with me today, not only because it's really, really cute, but also because it looks very small, but it fits a lot. Let me show you. So what do I have in there? My vlogging camera, super cute sunglasses, the stick for my camera, a portable um, charger actually two more chargers tissue my headphones or another pair of sunnies oh, love these my credit cards sample Louboutin perfume my lip gloss, this one is my favorite, it's the um, MAC thingy. Some meds, and that's it. It fits a lot, I love it. Fun fact, I don't know if you can see, but I don't wear foundation or powder on my nose because my skin is extremely dry and it looks flaky and gross. This is the finished product. Okay, enough of that. This is what I'm wearing today. So before we leave Barcelona and head down to Valencia, I wanna check out that place that sells ham at the corner of the street because I love ham and sausage and I wanna see if I can bring a little snack with me back to you friends. So let's go and do that. Mission accomplished. Let's try one. Greasy, but delicious. Valencia quick room tour look at the size of that bed we're gonna sleep like babies tonight I am sure and this is the bathroom Hi. I did a quick outfit not change but addition I put on this t-shirt I bought a bunch of them on Zalando they're um, pull and bear they're super inexpensive and so so cute look at the beautiful print so I'm gonna put on my shirt and we're gonna go walk around the city. What do you think the first thing I did as soon as I got in Valencia? Oh, <laughs> of course I've got food. Look at that. 
It's so funny how excited I get to to catch the metro to go to city of South. We headed back to the city center of Valencia and we stumbled upon the most beautiful gilded church of St. Martin. I'm going to let you enjoy the gorgeous architecture of Valencia now. Alright, going out to dinner, let me show you my dress. Look at how pretty it is. I'm so into ruffles for summer. Okay, we're at the door. See you in a bit. So we are back at the hotel. I cannot wait to get a good night of sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So we went to this aquarium in Valencia because man friends love anything that has to do with the ocean. He loves ocean creatures, he loves uh, diving, snorkeling, and all that good stuff. However, I felt very conflicted walking in this place because I love animals, even though I'm not vegan or anything, but I do love animals and I do care about their well-being and seeing belugas these huge dolphin like creatures in these tiny aquariums it broke my heart let's not sugarcoat it these creatures are held in captivity they should be kept in their natural habitat there was also uh, at some point a dolphin um, show both manfred and i were like no this is where we draw the line dolphins are not there to be trained into doing tricks for our entertainment. That was, that's a big no-no. Thinking about it now, I probably shouldn't have gone to the aquarium, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this issue. We are in Alicante. This is our room. It's tiny, but it's actually adorable. Look at the painting here. What is she looking at? Is that Drake? <laughs> Time to go to dinner now. We booked a last minute table at La Taberna del Gourmet and we had a fantastic fine dining experience the tasting menu was only 35 euros so really cheap all the food was incredibly tasty and well seasoned i highly recommend checking this place out whenever you're in the area you won't regret it <laughs> I have a question for my Spanish uh, followers and viewers. So what are the traffic rules when it comes to pedestrian crossings here? Because generally when a person is walking across the pedestrian crossing, the person has right of way, has priority. But in Spain, we almost 
vehicles get run over so many times when we were crossing the pedestrian crossing and the green man was green but I don't understand what's the rule please tell me because we find Spanish drivers pretty reckless So we took a bus to go to the castle, but it was the wrong bus. So now we're gonna walk back to the taxi station and take a taxi because the elevator that goes to the castle, the line was like 40 minutes. So yeah, we're gonna take a cab. Okay guys, this is the end of the vlog. I'm now back in the south of France. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed filming it. It was my very first travel vlog ever. There's so many more places I wanted to go and I wanted to show you and I wanted to show my mom too, like Parguel in Barcelona and all the pretty creeks and beaches in Begur. But traveling with my mom did come with its own set of challenges, but it is what it is. I hope you guys had fun following me around in beautiful Spain. Like this video, share it, put in the comments your favorite spots in Spain. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok for fashion content, fashion news, fashion commentary, and all the good stuff. I'll see you on the next one.